the beginning of last week, I started wheels started spinning in my head, of course. Like they often do, um, I decided that I wanted to make a miniature swim bait. So I took to the internet for some needed inspiration. But after scrolling for what seemed like an absolute eternity with no luck, I decided that maybe the internet just isn't the right place for me. But thinking on it a bit more and contemplating a couple other bad decisions, it hit me. I knew exactly what I was going to do. After sketching up my design, it was time to get to work. What I have in my head, I've thought about it for a little while and it's pretty sick. I've never seen a lure like this before. Now in the past, I have made swim baits and with a lot of trial and error and a whole lot of luck, I think they've turned out relatively well. I am by no means a professional swim bait builder or lure builder of any kind. I do not have the mecca, the whole shebang of tools to make this job easy. What I do have is a saw, an exacto blade, and basically a Dremel tool. So if that's what you guys want to see at the end, if this is a disaster, if it's not a disaster, uh, stick around. So follow along with me, cross your fingers, and do a lot of this, and uh, hopefully by the end you'll see a cool bait. I went ahead and glued the stencil basically on the bait itself so that I know how, where my lines are gonna be and stuff. And I'm just cutting out the access with this saw. So unfortunately my camera cut out, but here's essentially what I did. I made these circles and I took the X-Acto knife, cut them out for the eyeballs. The other thing that I did was I took an X-Acto blade here and went along the edges. I took and drew with pencil here to get my lines of the body. Same thing here. That's all you kind of missed. Okay, so that is definitely a rougher shape. Um, but you guys are starting to get the picture now. It's gonna come together. I've What I've done is I've, I've cut that out for that joint in the swim bait. Now here's how I did it. I found my center point first. I measured the bait, found a center point, put it there. And as you can see, that's how I cut it. We're gonna do scaling. What I'll do is I'll cut uh, half moons and do kind of the carp goldfish scaling on this thing. So you can see I made those holes perfect so my little already 3D eyes fit in there. So as you guys can see, I got this one side done. Essentially all I'm doing is I'm cutting half moons and then as I do the half moons I'm coming in at an angle and cutting that those grooves out around each half moon.
Okay, I got the tail and the head done. I think it turned out great. To be honest, I, I really like the way it looks. It's not bad at all. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and coat this with CA glue, which is super glue. Basically, it will coat it and water protect it. It'll keep the wood from getting waterlogged. And then from there, we can prime it and do everything else we need to do to it. Put it this. Okay guys, I'm going to go through this and show you what you're going to need that we're going to be putting in the hardware. So essentially I'm going to put a tie off on the front, I'm going to put a hook hanger here and another hook hanger here. I'm going to make my own hook hangers and tie off and to do that I'm going to use a 1 8 bit. I'm going to wrap the wire around it and then uh, secure it down. Also you will need a 1 16th drill bit for the holes, so to drill the holes in the actual bait. Now here's something I did, I went on Amazon, I found these, they were like 17 bucks I think for 50 of them, but these are stainless steel .35 shafts, and I'm gonna be making my own hook hangers out of this wire here, so let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna take one of these shafts and I'm gonna bend it over, this right here. So I'm gonna hold right there. I'm gonna Position it right here. There we go. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and come in here and push it down where it's even. And we will clip off the excess. Which is gonna be right here. So I'm gonna insert into the drill and I'm gonna tighten it down. So there you see it, I got a good line tie, I think that's going to work out good. Okay guys, so I'm using these, uh, but you can use tape measure, you can do any of that. You're just going to basically take it, divide it in half, we're just trying to find the center point, and from that center point I'll know how much room I've got to work with. So. Okay, I'm going to take the 512 and I'm going to divide that by two. Uh, so it's a quarter, a little over a quarter of an inch. We're going to mark a little over a quarter of an inch here and a little over a quarter of an inch here. Once we get that figured out, take one of these. So as you can see here, uh, I've got the joint in place. I drilled a hole in the front nose here, and that is with a 1 16th bit. I'm going to drill another one here, I drilled one here, and then we're going to end up drilling out the center here for one of these egg sinkers to go into. Uh, These are half ounce egg bullet weights, egg sinkers, uh, Anyway, this is a 3 8 drill bit that I am using. So, wish me luck. I don't tear this up too bad. What I did, I epoxied over. I poured my lead in there. As you can see the gray part, I poured my lead. And then also I put epoxy over and I reshaped the bottom of the bait by just sanding it. And what I used guys was 320 grit sandpaper and some 
150 grit sandpaper. I put my hardware in. This regular CA glue, when you put that in, put it in there, it will not move. It's good to go. I cut my tail slot. I didn't show all this on video because some of it is really like fine detail and I have to pay close attention. And I was afraid I was gonna screw up the whole entire bait if I did that. Uh, what I essentially did was took this saw and I drill line down the middle and I split it and started sawing through. And then once I got that done, I took some sandpaper and worked on the inside just like that. So now that we finished with that portion of the bait, let's move on to the next section, which is gonna be priming the bait. Guys, if you wanna know, I use the Duplicolor Sandable Primer in white. Uh, it's always worked out great for me. But with that being said, let's move on to priming this bait and getting it done. I got those completely primered up. They're ready to be washed. So what we're gonna do is I've got some little Americana, just paint you get from Walmart. You just want a water-based paint. It doesn't matter what kind. Um, and you're gonna put it over there and then wipe it off. So here we go. I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> We're gonna finish painting this thing. We're gonna paint it up. I'm gonna paint a natural goldfish and I am super stoked to see how this is gonna turn out. And there's only one more step left to do and that is to create a custom tail for it. So with that being said, let's get to it. The final paint job you can see how the gold shifts in it so I know that there's going to be some of this bait in this video that did not fully get explained and there's good reason for that some of it was my first time doing it it's just really rough to do on camera as you can see the tail I've got it I've got it done I'm still gonna trim this out but that that was a tough uh, portion and then um, I did some detailing with the paint I basically came along the edges here with this pink and up on the nose because that's what I saw on the actual goldfish that I was looking at and a little bit of brown right there. But so you guys can see that's it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to coat this, clear coat it and make it where it's good to go. Thank you. 
Okay, so this is the final version of the goldfish. I know you guys didn't get to see me finish the tail. It was a major undertaking for that tail. But as you can see here, I got all the scale detail. That epoxy really makes it pop. I've got some pink here that I added that was off the picture that I saw and it fades into that gold. So all in all, I think it turned out to be a really good bait. But now the next step is let's go swim test it. Okay, we're gonna do a test of the goldfish. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we'll see. Oh yeah, that has no action. Um, we pull it fast. Yeah, not. Okay, so obviously, I think I'm gonna have to add a bill. We'll still fish it and see eventually, but. I think that guy's going to have to have a bill. Guys, thank you so much. This has been an awesome time building this goldfish bait. It was truly cool because I didn't know if I could do it or not. And it turned out, I have to say it looks amazing. However, the swim test proved that this thing just has subpar action. Um, I still think it'll catch fish. It does shake a lot in the back, so I know it'll work if I just put a bill on the front and that's future plans. Uh, I will put a bill on the front. I'll take it out. We'll go fishing with it. See if we can catch some fish on it. That's all something that I will show you guys coming in the future. I'll do a video on it and you guys will have to stay tuned to see that. Speaking of staying tuned guys, if you have watched to this point in the video, make sure you hit that like and that bell notification that way you're notified anytime my videos come up as well as if you're new to this channel and you've never seen me before please subscribe it helps me out so much and i have to say thank you to everybody this is a lot of fun i've had a lot of fun doing this if you will if you enjoyed this video leave a comment below let me know what part of the video that you enjoyed the most or something you'd like to see in the future if you want to see me make something in the future leave a comment below but with that said i will catch you guys on the next series which i have something sweet planned so with that uh i'll see you on the next adventure